Well, Haboob is hitting right now. And I'm going to try to get home before I get completely sandblasted by this storm. See all the tan brownish air? That's all sand and dust in the air. And this thing's just getting started. The wind has just picked up. And it's already starting to blow stuff around. You get that dusty smell in the air and feel the sand getting on your skin and in your face and in your eyes. But this is what we get. You guys back east, you get your hurricanes and your blizzards and all your snow. This is all I have to deal with. No big deal. I don't have to shovel any of this. I don't freeze my butt off in any of this. I just have to clean the sand out of my eyes when I get home. But this is a dust storm. This is what a haboob is in the desert. Now you can see that the air is getting kind of hazy looking from the dust. About five minutes ago it was completely clear and all you could see is the tan sky in the distance. It's really, really windy out here. You can tell by the flags over there how windy it is. The wind appears to be coming from a southwesterly direction. So this storm is coming up from the south. Yeah, this is my vet. Like his uh, artwork. So I'm headed east on McDowell Road from Hayden in the middle of a dust storm. This is General Dynamics. This is where they make um, components for missiles and C4 explosives and stuff like that. I believe they make the um, Sidewinder missiles at this facility as well. Yeah, I'm already getting the crustification in my eyes, my ears, and my nose from the dust in the air blowing. We don't get these too often, but when we get them, they're, they're 
they're pretty fierce. It's a lot of wind and a lot of blowing and debris flying around. See, look at the trees. When the wind really picks up, we find bits and pieces of trees all over the place. And that's it. That's a dust storm. <laughs>